Kelly, Mr. Mayor, a uh, very subdued council meeting today. Um, one thing that did catch my attention was uh, your comments regarding what the town's doing in anticipation of Super Bowl 48 across the way in East Rutherford. Uh, if you mind telling our viewers today exactly what Seagawkus is doing in, in, you know, in terms of the biggest sporting event in North America. Yeah, well, first off, you know, we consider ourselves to be ground zero. Uh, we are a town that is so close to MetLife Stadium, sometimes I feel like I can hit it with a rock. Um, and, you know, we have 15 hotels in town, many restaurants. We're expecting, you know, well over 10,000 people to be here um, during Super Bowl, Super Bowl week. So, you know, our, our main focus is to have an event that highlights what the town has to offer, but also make the people that come here welcome and say, you know, um, wow, I stayed in Secaucus, I felt safe, the hotel was clean, the restaurants were close by, uh, and I was at the stadium in five minutes and I was in the city in ten. You know, if I'm going to go back to New York or back to MetLife Stadium, I'm going to stay back in Secaucus where I can rent the room for 175 bucks or 150 bucks instead of staying in Manhattan where my room is going to cost me six or seven hundred dollars. So we have a lot as a community to offer. So our intent is to have a beautiful celebration, I'll call it that, in the center of town in Buckmuller Park, which is about a seven acre park that just had a two and a half billion dollar refurb to it. It's gorgeous. So we're going to have an outdoor beer garden with entertainment, with karaoke, with a radio station. I think the first night is going to be kind of like a country western thing. We're going to have 40 to 50 um, food trucks here. We partnered with uh, these food truck mashes where they have food trucks that do everything from hot dogs and hamburgers to lobsters and, and uh, filet mignon to crepes to cakes, uh, you name it, there'll be something there for everybody. We're going to have a vendor village, um, we can't call it a Super Bowl village, but we're going to have a, a, a vendor village where there'll be all kinds of things for kids and people to buy and souvenirs. Uh, we're going to have tons of entertainment. We're going to have things on our field like snow making and ice sculptures and rock climbing. We're going to make an event that's going to be a Thursday, Friday, Saturday that people are going to remember. And I'm sure, you know, our estimates, we're hoping between seven and 10,000 people will attend. Um, they're going to remember Sea Caucus for the great town that it is. Mr. Mayor, you brought up an issue about hotels, and obviously those hotel rooms will be filling up rather quickly. Uh, there have been reports circulating that uh, hotels in the area are going to be charging exorbitant amounts of money, uh, well ahead of what they normally charge for stays uh, during that time period. Is the township looking to do anything uh, to address that and sort of any sort of abuse from these uh, corporations? Well, we're certainly looking at that, but you know, that that is something that I'm not sure we can do too much with. Uh, we can't set the rates for hotels, and I know what, I know what they're doing, and I know what they're doing is probably not right. Uh, and if, I mean, I, I read some sites that you can go on Tunley Avenue, and you're going to be paying $400, $500 a night for a hotel room, which is, which is unheard of. But we're looking at that, you know, and we're also looking at the issues that come along with a Super Bowl. At our last council meeting, we passed an ordinance that's going to require two forms of ID when you check in. Um, and one form will be uh, a picture ID. You know, we're going to be putting together a task force to look for prostitution um, and to crack down on human trafficking. So there's a lot of things that happen with a Super Bowl that aren't all um, great things. So yeah, we're, we're looking at we're looking at all of that. Okay. Thank you so much for watching. For more programming, please go to HudsonCountyTV.com. Don't forget to follow us on Facebook and Twitter. For everyone here at Hudson County TV. I'm Fernando Uribe. You stay classy, everyone.